I highly recommend a trip to Sun Valley, Idaho in the fall with babies and toddlers. So here are my top tips for what to do, where to stay, and what to bring. Sun Valley is an epic ski destination in winter, and it's a really beautiful spot to do outdoor adventure in the summer, but we took a trip out there in fall and it was perfect because it was the shoulder season so we didn't have to contend with crowds. I was also traveling with a baby and a toddler so there was no way we were going to be skiing anyway. Because it's a ski resort destination, you might not think it's the best place to visit with young kids, but we were shocked by how much there was to do with our little ones. From easy hikes to cute restaurants and shops, your whole family will find something to love in Ketchum and Sun Valley. We found a cheap flight on Scott's Cheap Flights and decided to book a flight to Boise in October and we had the best time. We were shocked and delighted by how much we loved Sun Valley with a baby and a toddler and my parents came along too so we had every generation represented. Here's what you should know before you go. You will definitely want to rent a car upon arrival. We used the airport car rental service at the Boise airport. We gave ourselves about 48 hours to explore Ketchum and Sun Valley, but looking back, I would have added one more day so we could add a day trip to Stanley, Idaho. We ended up staying in Haley, Idaho, which was about 20 minutes south of Ketchum and Sun Valley because it was far cheaper and we needed a suite for all the people we had along. We stocked up on food at a grocery store called Albertsons, which was right next to our hotel. If you're traveling with babies and toddlers, definitely bring a stroller and a baby carrier and then make sure you pack lots of layers for everyone, including a warm bunting for baby for hiking. And here's what to do around Ketchum and Sun Valley with young children. Number one, explore Ketchum. Many refer to the entire Wood River Valley area as Sun Valley, but Ketchum is technically the city adjacent to the resort town of Sun Valley. It's an old mining town with a rich history involving hot springs, silver, sheep, and Ernest Hemingway. You could easily spend hours wandering around, shopping for souvenirs, grabbing Starbucks, ducking in and out of cafes, and just generally exploring the cutest little town with a beautiful backdrop of mountains. Number two, walk the Wood River bike path. Hey Lewis, where are we? Um, uh, Idaho. Yeah, what does Idaho have? Um, potatoes. Then what else? Um, mountains. Yeah, you're right. Do, yeah, do you like Idaho? The Wood River Trail connects Ketchum and Sun Valley to the towns of Haley, where we stayed, and Bellevue. We found a parking spot just north of Haley and walked about a mile toward Ketchum. While on the path, we crossed the Big Wood River, which provided some incredible scenery set against the vibrant yellow and orange autumn leaves. We watched an elk just off the trail and enjoyed various birds flitting across our path. The path is paved, so we decided to bring the stroller, and the baby took a nice long nap while we enjoyed a nice leisurely stroll. Since it was a flat trail, our three-year-old was easily able to keep up. This is a perfect trail for families with young children to do a beginner hike. Number three, hike Adams Gulch. One of our favorite hikes was Adams Gulch in the late afternoon. There are quite a few trails and loops to choose from, but the path we chose was wide with a low grade elevation. There were a few parts that were more challenging for a three-year-old, but he ended up doing just fine and loving it. I believe we hiked about two miles. You'll see mountain bikers and trail runners along the way, families and people hiking with their dogs, and the scenery is absolutely incredible. Number four, take a scenic drive to Galena Summit. I was craving some mountain views in Idaho since the terrain in the Midwest where I'm from is mostly flat. At the recommendation of the Visit Sun Valley Tourism Board, we decided to drive to Galena Summit where we could enjoy views of the Sawtooth Mountains. We took Highway 75 Northwest, which led us straight to Galena Summit. You can't miss the scenic overlook stop just past the summit. 
The views of the snow-capped Sawtooth Mountains were awe-inspiring. While the fall colors in Sun Valley gave you a feeling of warmth with yellows, golds, and occasional reds, the colors from Galena Summit were cool blues and whites. It's an easy half hour drive from town and we spent 20 minutes or so admiring the view from the top. Number five, explore Sun Valley Village. As I mentioned before, we chose to stay in the town of Haley, just south of Sun Valley. However, if you want the full resort experience, be sure to visit Sun Valley Village and even duck into Sun Valley Lodge for a look around. Sun Valley Village sits right next to the main resort and offers restaurants, cafes, toy stores, and boutiques. I enjoyed doing a bit of research on the history of Sun Valley, which gave context to the whole experience. In the 1930s, the chief executive of the Union Pacific Railroad was looking for a way to entice more people to take the train out west. He decided an alpine ski resort would be the perfect draw, so he hired an Austrian friend to choose a destination that would be close to the railroad lines. They ended up choosing the Ketchum area, and within months, Sun Valley Resort was born. They enlisted a publicist to invite the rich and famous to experience their resort and get the word out. Yes, they were the influencers of yesteryear. Celebrities like Clark Gable, Marilyn Monroe, and Ernest Hemingway graced the slopes of Sun Valley. If you're interested in learning more about the history of Sun Valley, be sure to stop at the lodge and ask some of the workers any questions about the history of the area. They'll invite you to wander the halls and check out the photos of all the famous people who have stayed at Sun Valley Lodge. Number six, visit Draper Wood River Preserve. Draper Wood River Preserve was kind of a last minute addition to our itinerary, and it was one of our last stops before we left Sun Valley for Boise. It was right down the road from our hotel in Haley, Idaho, and it's just a large piece of conserved land right along the Big Wood River. We weren't really sure what to expect from this, but it ended up being one of our favorite experiences of the trip and we were just blown away by the views. You can walk across the bow bridge, which is shaped like a bow and arrow, take a stroll through the quiet woods along the river, and then head back to the Croy Creek wetlands for a final walk on the boardwalk that will take you back to the parking lot. And number seven, grab some hot drinks at Big Wood Bread Cafe. Hit up the downtown location of the Big Wood Bread Cafe in Ketchum and enjoy a hot beverage on the patio. Even if the weather's a little chilly like it was for us, the hot chocolate or espresso drinks will warm you right up, along with a bowl of soup or a hot sandwich. They have plenty of options for kids and this quaint little cafe has wonderful views of the bustling downtown area with Bald Mountain as the backdrop. I hope you found this helpful if you're thinking of visiting Sun Valley in Ketchum, Idaho. Make sure to give this video a like and go ahead and hit subscribe. You can connect with me on all social channels at A Mom Explores. Don't forget to check out my new podcast, the Travel with Kids podcast as well. Looking forward to connecting with you, but until then, keep exploring.